first and foremost, I just have to say, Mom, I love you. You'll forever live on in me. Now, I titled this video Manifeste Nots because through my recent devastation, I was finding it hard to meditate, let alone manifest, and found a video that helped me out. And I'm hoping I can help another. Now, if you're like me and feel like the pain in your life is too overbearing to focus on manifesting, then this video is for you. Know that you are energy that has the ability to direct energy. But before translating or transferring that energy, you're going to need to raise your vibrations. The first thing I would like you to note is that you are worth it. You are strong. You are enough. Dealing with depression, darkness, pain, addiction, and or overcompensating for those lower emotions can only lead to destruction. They say that time heals, which is why I wouldn't advise trying to manifest while in this victim blaming, harnessing energy. Let time pass. Unfortunately, our emotions just don't disappear. We can pretend not to feel, but denial of our emotions does not mean that they aren't there. It only means that we are ignoring it. Yes, there are times emotions should be pushed aside. However, they should never be ignored or invalidated. A few signs to look for while dealing with depression. That would be drugs, alcohol addiction, overeating, pretending or denying that an experience happened, any type of compulsive behaviors, including compulsive exercise, eating disorders, cutting, hiding in a fictional reality, computer games, books, television shows, working to excess, avoiding deep and meaningful conversations, and hiding behind a mask of peace, love and light, are all behaviors we may use to hide behind our emotions. We may use these behaviors to hide from our emotions, but we cannot deny those emotions or control them because what we are feeling will find a way to express itself. And if it does not do so through communication, it may manifest in our bodies and in our behavior. Several signs that you may be repressing emotions include overreacting to minor issues, making external issues more important than personal subjects, intellectualizing and scorning emotions, brushing aside obvious disrespect or discourtesy by saying it doesn't matter when it should and it does, delayed emotional responses, depression, anxiety, and stress. Some physical signs to look for would be tension in the jaw, 
and mouth and stomach, throat and shoulders. Look within for a little emotional honesty. Are you allowing yourself to feel or are you controlling your emotions? Choose a path in acknowledging, accepting and allowing your feelings to flow. And in the words of Trevor Isley, follow your truth. Arigato. I would like to take this time to shout out everyone that's been there in my time of need, especially Wesley. They're trying to keep me focused, man, even though, well, we'll, we'll, we'll we gonna handle that. And you know, everybody that genuinely cares, man, you are highly appreciated. I'm truly grateful for you. Thank you. Jerry will entitle this segment, 10 Minutes of Harassment. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's quite warm in here. They should turn the air up. I'm comfortable where I am, and I can accept the aspects that I am dealing with insofar as myself. What I can't, what I'm having trouble with, I believe, is I feel it's time to move on from the relationship. You know what's interesting though? When you say, I'm comfortable with where I am, but I can't... With who I am, also. Well, I'm, I'm comfortable with who, what, where... I'm comfortable with where I am. But I want to move on we have to say then you're not really comfortable with where you are and i feel i've grown farther than she has more so to where i want to move on and i see her as holding me back well, wherever, Jerry has noticed that as he points something out, as they're driving down the freeway and Esther's driving the monster bus and Jerry will point at something and Esther tends to veer in the direction of where he's pointing. <laughs> so he's learned to only point straight down the road at things. And we say you all tend to do that. You all, you all go where you're looking. And so when you have decided that, that you are evolving faster than someone else and you are looking at someone else where they are, the discomfort that you feel is that in your looking there, you're holding yourself in a, you're not letting yourself go to where you're going. In other words, you're, no one has to keep up with you, but you have to keep up with yourself by not blaming someone else for where you are. Okay, so how do you know when it's time, and you mentioned this earlier, how do you know when it's time to move on? Well, here's the way we would look at this. When it's time to move on, wild horses can't keep you from doing it. When it's time to move on, the inspiration to go is so fantastic and so intoxicating and so there's so much desire within you that you can't bear not to go. You, and when you're going because you don't like where you are, that's a whole different thing. 
Right, because you're going to take yourself with you. But it's a whole, whole different vibrational pattern, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. So, now we want to talk about this just a little because we've made a bit of a jumble of it and we want to bring some points of clarity to it. And we want to come back to something that you said right in the beginning when you said, I'm comfortable with where I am because you're hearing us say, make peace with where you are. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people will say that that worries them because what they think we're saying is be satisfied with the outcome that has come out and accept it as all that will ever be. And that's not what we mean when we say make peace with where you are. When we say make peace with where you are, we, what we mean by that is find the best feeling thoughts that you can find about where you are from where you are. And in doing so, you align with the energy of source which then allows you to go anywhere you want to go. It's a vibrational thing again. Somebody else was talking about that here today. It's, it's something about getting the desire out of the equation and amplifying the allowing part of it. And in order to make real sense of this, we have to say to you that Everything that you've lived with this person and others has caused you to launch clarifying rockets of who you are. So, of course, you're moving on from where you have been. Of course you are. Your future is full of all kinds of differences. And when you make peace with where you are, which is to say, you don't find something about where you are that irritates you. You no longer find something about where you are that makes you unhappy. You only look at where you are and find things that you appreciate. As you look at where you are and find things that allow you to be who you are, then you can move to the vibrational escrow that you've got lined up. Isn't that interesting? So people say, well, here I am over here and I want to be over there. And we say, well, tell us about over there. And they say, well, I'm not very happy over here. I have issues over here. And we say, well, let's talk about over there. And they say, well, I have to get done with what's over here. And we say, you can't move over there as long as you're trying to get done with what's over here. When you make peace with what's here, which is to say you, you feel good about what's here, you find positive aspects about what's here, mm -hmm. then you become a vibra then and only then do you become a vibrational match to what's over here. So that's why we're trying to get everybody to separate their action journey, which is where I am right now. It's who I live with. It's how much money I've got. It's how I feel in my body. My action journey is what I've culminated to right now. And if a woman said to us the other day, I weigh 200 pounds more than I want to. And we said, and that's not going to change today, is it? Or tomorrow or the next day or even very much in 30 days. In other words, that's what is. You've got to find some way of accepting what is, meaning I don't need to change what is in order to feel better. I don't need to lose 200 pounds, we said to her. You don't need to lose 200 pounds before you can be happy. You can be 200 pounds overweight and happy. That's making peace with where you are. Or you can be 200 pounds overweight and unhappy. You can have arthritis in your hips and be fearful. Or you can have arthritis in your hips and be hopeful. In other words, what is doesn't have to change. That's what we mean by making peace with where you are. What Where I am doesn't have to change in order for my emotional journey to change. 
and when my emotional journey changes, my vibrational pattern is changed. And when my vibrational pattern is changed, now I can go where I belong, you see. That's as clear as we've ever said it. It is our desire that as you move forward in the hours and days and years that are before you, that you relax and make peace with where you are. And by that we mean you acknowledge that what is is what is, and it's fine. Spend less time trying to see where you stand through the eyes of others. In fact, work hard at no longer giving a rip what they think because they mean well, but they haven't got a clue about you and your vibration. And make a decision that the thing that really, really matters to you is your vibrational relativity between who you really are and who you're being in this moment. And when you find yourself feeling not so good, stop and laugh and say, oh, isn't this good? I can feel that vibrational relationship right now. And this negative feeling that I have in my solar plexus or wherever it feels that you're feeling it, this negative emotion that I am identifying means that I have right now activated a thought that is quite different from the way my inner being and source sees 